Um, I just want to show you something that I've um, managed to hand make. I'm sorry about this glare this light. I've got them stupid halogen lights in my kitchen here and they're awful. Um, right, what I've made is, you're probably thinking, oh, why would you make that? Just go and buy it. But I like to make things just for the pure, simple reason, out of sheer bloody-mindedness, to be honest, to know that I can make it if I want to, rather than buy it. Um, so, um, I pop into the charity shops down in my local village all of the time. Um, on the hunt for doilers and stuff. In fact, I got some today for 20 pence each. So I was quite pleased because they're meant to be 50. <laughs> but it was a new lady and she didn't know and she didn't charge me 20p. I didn't say out, which were a bit naughty, but never mind. Right, so I got this. It's like, um, a, well, I think it's like a, a little, well, it said curtain on it. So it's quite long, all that. Da, 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 da. Um, so that were two pound for all that. Which isn't bad, because if you go to a material shop, I mean, there's a good few metres there that would cost you a lot more than £2, wouldn't it? So I got it, because it was, it's, um, it, uh, I don't know if it's cotton, but it, I knew by looking at it that it had fray, and it, and it does, it frays really, really quickly. Um, so I thought, oh, that'll make um, some nice flowers, and I wanted to um, learn myself to do the, you know, like the rolled ones that look really shabby? And they're like round like that and you just roll them. Um, well, that's what I got it for. And then I just it just came into my head um, about a flower. Probably one of the ones of Fiona's, to be honest. Because she's the main one that I watch for flowers. Um, and she used some pleated trim. So here we go. Here's some pleated trim. Now, I've just made that. Because um, I thought, well, I want to try some with some pleated trim. Because, um, you know, when you go around in the edges of flowers, it looks really nice. So, um, my little girl's hovering around. Come in if you want. Just be quiet. So I just thought, um, you know, I wonder if I can make it. How hard can it be? So I cut some of this material off. And I've made. I mean, there's not a lot there. What is there? Uh, half a metre there. So, um, but I'll just cut longer strips and do it. Um, I want too time consuming, to be honest. It's took me all of about... What, five minutes to make that? So five minutes to make half a metre of ruffle trim. So it might take me ten minutes to make a metre. Uh, saved me going to the shop, it saved me petrol. Saved me buying it. And the, the beauty of it is, if you figure out how to do it, you can do it out of any material you want, so then you're not um, limited to what they've got in the shops. You can make your own. Um, so um, this is really freer. It's really, really going to fray. Um, so if I didn't want it to fray, obviously I'd put a, whatever that stitch is, what do you, like an overlocking stitch, is it, that stops things fraying. So I have put that on the top, um, so that it doesn't completely fray to nothing and annoy me. And then that's just a normal stitch, I've just made my stitch shorter. Um, just made my stitch shorter, um, because the material's thin. So I'm going to try and show you how I did it. I mean, anybody with a brain can do it, but maybe if I show you how I did it. So I think that'll um, make some nice flowers. Uh, and like I said, you could do it. If you figure out that, how to do it, you can use your um, material. Stash or hard, make yourself some trim, use it, whatever. So this is how I've done it. I've cut another, sh I'm going to have to move you because I use the iPad, so I'm going to have to move you. Right. So this is my strip. It's about, I cut about uh, one and a half inches. Just a long, long strip, like that. Um, how long is this? Twins up with that half a metre. I bet, I bet this is a good two metres. Hold on, no it ain't. Let me measure it. Let me measure it. It's probably a metre and a quarter then, and you'll end up with half. Okay? Right. So what I did was, all I do is, there you can see the pleat there. Let me try and get it in shot. There you go. So, using both hands, I can't use both hands here because one of them's holding the iPad. But what I do is, I do finger and thumb spaces for everything. 
Um, that's my technical way of measuring stuff, okay? From carpets to curtains to how tall my kids are, finger and thumb, finger and thumb. So, you get your finger and thumb there, like that. That's your first space. That's how big you want your plate. And then you want to to gather over the top. So, then I go finger and thumb again. Then grasp it and pull it over, like that. Can you see? And then pin it. So there you go. So what I do is, and this just makes all the sizes the same and it's a quick way of doing it rather than getting your ruler out. So using both hands at each side, you go finger and thumb, move up to where your finger is, finger and thumb, pull over, pin. Yeah? And you just do that all the way up. So you do it again. Finger and thumb, finger and thumb, pull, lift over, pin. And then you just literally, I'm going to kind of put this back now. There you go, I'll put you back against my sewing machine. <laughs> so then you just literally get it and just sew it on your sewing machine. Just be careful not to sew anywhere near your pins. I know a lot of sewers just sew over the pins, but I'm telling you now, I have br I broke my last sewing machine doing that. So don't. take them out one by one and just go. If you're not a confident sewer, you can easily do it. Just sew slower. Um, and it literally takes you minutes. And like I said, there you go, you've got... um. How's it gone? <laughs> so, you've got your ruffled trim to make some flowers with. So you could do that with um, play material, you could do it with lace. If you've got some lace that you're not bothered about or not over fond of, think of a different way of using it. Do this, put it in some flowers, um, you know, and then you glue it round and round and round and round and round. You can even you can even run a running stitch and make it even more gathered. Whatever you want to do with pleated trim, you can do it. So just thought I'd show you that. Another scrimpy tip. Um, just not only saving you money, but it's saving you time because that's took me what? It's took me five five minutes to make, but you know, my town centre is is a good 30 minute, 35 minutes drive each way. So if I want to go buy some, you know, it's time to go, it's it's cost a few, well then I've got to park my car and in Huddersfield there's no free parking, you've got to pay. And it's like 90p an hour. So it's, you know, you're adding that on to the price of your craft stuff, haven't you? You know, your petrol and your time and your parking. And then you've got to buy it. So if you can make it at home without going out, there you go. So, da -da -da. so there's another scrimpy tip. Make your own pleated trim. <laughs> All right, I'm going now. Um, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you later. Bye.